Good morning, sweet people. How are you? I'm going to make me some baked beans for today. And that is because I'm going to have me some ribs today. And I like baked beans with ribs. Do y'all? And so here's how I do it. I'm just going to show you. Whoop! You make a mess. That's the first thing you do. All right. I add a lot of stuff to my baked beans. So the first thing I do is take the can of baked beans that I've got and drain the juice off. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. I fix to drain them in a colander and get this juice out of here. While our beans are over there um, draining and getting all the juice off of it, I am going to cut up the things that I put in my baked beans. I'm gonna put it in there. The first thing I put is I put a whole bell pepper and I put a whole onion. And I do not uh, saute these ahead of time because they're gonna bake in the oven and they will be perfect, perfect. Well y'all, today is Sunday and I am dressed to go to church except for my shoes. And I'm, I'm gonna wear some heels and so, um, Right now, I've got on flats so I can work. Got on me a pretty apron this morning. Isn't this thing pretty? It's so pretty. All right, so then all I'm going to do is cut my... Um, and no, some of y'all were asking if I ever found my other knife. And the answer is no, I hadn't found it yet. But it's, at the, it's in this house somewhere. It's, it's here. Just cut your onions up in a... And they're going to be real tender, y'all. They're not going to be crunchy in your baked beans, okay? But you got to have a sharp knife to do it. So anyway, this is what we're going to have for Sunday lunch. We're going to have baked beans and barbecue ribs. They had those on special this week. I didn't know what I was going to fix for Sunday until I got up to the grocery store. And when you see something on sale, then that's what you need to have for your... Sunday lunch. Sunday dinner is what I call it. I have to say lunch because y'all don't know what I'm talking about if I say dinner. You think I'm talking about tonight, but I'm not. Put that in your pan. Just go ahead and put it in there. Like that. And I like to have a whole onion in mine. Now, some people put meat in their baked beans. I do not because I don't like it in there. I like just the beans and the vegetables in it. If I'm gonna eat me some meat uh, in something else. Let's see what I did yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. And here's what I did. I went to the Coddle House and cooked breakfast for my guest. I left there, I came home and I ate um, an apple and some cottage cheese for a snack. And I also put salt on my apple. <laughs> Did y'all do that? I always put in a whole bell pepper um, in mine. If you don't like these, if you'd rather have just like a little sweet pepper, you can do that. But I like the bell in mine. I do. I like it a lot. But anyway, I did that. And then uh, there was a Christmas open house in town at one of my friend's shops. So I went to that and bought something so cute. But I can't tell what it is because it's for a Christmas present. <laughs> and I know y'all will tell them. So I'm just not going to tell you what it is. You could wait have to wait till Christmas to see. Anyway, they had it fixed up really darling in there. And they had all the booze and stuff. And they had um, refreshments, which I didn't eat because I was so full from that cottage cheese and the apple that I, I just wasn't hungry. <clears throat> Always get that old white stuff out of there, y'all. If your knife is sharp, look at there. It just slides right through there. You don't have to worry about cutting yourself or anything. If your knife is dull, you're liable to cut yourself. But if your knife is good and sharp, 
you probably won't cut yourself. Anyway, I did that. Then I came home and I took off my clothes and I and put on some really comfortable clothes and wore that in the afternoon. I watered some outside, some of my plants, because y'all, it's so dry here in Andalusia. And so I did that. And just kind of hung around, played on my phone a while, did some things like that, ate me some supper. Before I knew it, it was bedtime. This time changed uh, this morning, Sunday morning. So I hope everybody's, uh, will we be too late for church or too early when you fall back? I don't even know. All I know is it's the clock over there. I hadn't changed it yet. It says it's 8.30, but I guess it's really 7.30, isn't it? If we fall back. <laughs> well, our body's going to have to adjust to it. Because we won't, we won't, we'll, we'll be in a daze for a day or two before we get adjusted. All right, let me finish cutting this up. Hey, our beans are thawed out. They're drained and they're ready. I don't know why I said thawed out. <laughs> they're drained. Let's get them. Here they are without any juice in them. Put those in your pan with your onions. Put them all in there. And y'all will figure out in a minute why I drain the juice off. Put your peppers in there with it. These are baked beans, all right, but I call them, sometimes I'll call them barbecue beans because I'm fixed to put barbecue in them. Then stir it up real good. Can y'all see pretty good this morning? Mix your onions and your peppers together in your pan. Like that. This is really quick. And you could make this the day before and then just pull it out of your refrigerator already in your casserole dish and you're ready to roll. All right, so this is the reason that I am that I drained it. Because I fixed to put brown sugar and I fixed to put some my barbecue sauce in here. And that brown sugar is going to melt and make a liquid and so is that barbecue sauce so that if you left your liquid in it, it'll be too, too runny. So, I'm fixed to get me some brown sugar out of here. Here's my little sugar bear. Y'all, it ain't cute. It's a piece of, um, it's like pottery stuff. But it, they say it helps to keep your um, sugar from getting hard. I don't have any problem. I've got the, I keep buying it in a jar with a lid on it. All right, so here's where you're going to be guesstimating. I'm like, I'm going to put this much. That's a big old spoonful. And I'm going to put one more in there. Like that. My brown sugar. Then I am going to pour some barbecue salts if I get it open. <clears throat> Let's see what I've got here. Let me, let me turn y'all off till I can get this open. Okay, I did it. <laughs> there was a man at the call house yesterday. I said, would you open this jelly for me? Because, I mean, it's hard. All right, so now you're going to guesstimate again. I'm going to put probably a half a cup in here. I'm going to stir it up. It's already smelling good. That barbecue salt's in it, though. Just put your favorite kind in there and put you an onion and some peppers in there and brown sugar. And you talking about good. It's not your regular baked beans. I don't take baked beans out of a can and put them in a casserole and bake them. I don't do that. I add stuff. What all do y'all add in yours? What all do you add in there? All right, I'm going to put just a little bit more of the barbecue. 
because I love that flavor in there. I'm going to save the rest of it out because I want to put that on my uh, my ribs when I cook those. All right, it's ready. That's it. But I am going to taste it to make sure I've got enough brown sugar and stuff in there. Here we go. Let's taste it. God gave you a taster, so use it. Delicious. When all that onion flavor gets in there. And two, another reason that you drain your beans is because um, the onions have liquid in them, and that's going to come out too. So, I'm going to put mine in a casserole dish. And I am going to have it ready to bake. And I also, y'all, am going to, um, I like to cover mine with foil a little bit so they don't get hard. Spread it right. This is a probably a, this one right here is a, I don't know, it's probably a 9 by 11 or 13 or so, probably a 13. I probably could have used a smaller one if I wanted to. Now, at this time, when you get it like this, if you want to put a couple of pieces of bacon on top, just kind of lay it on there, sometimes I do that. But right now, that's ready. And I'm going to cover it up and put it in my oven. I'm going to put it on a low temperature because the only thing that needs to cook in it is the uh, onions and peppers. And then let all those flavors go together. You don't want any salt in it or anything like that. What I do on my foil is I put it over and I fold it like a present. And that way it stays fixed good. Okay, you put this in the oven. I'm going to put mine, I'm not in any hurry, so I'm going to put mine on 350. If you want to put yours on 400, that's fine. It just won't take as long. And it's going to be really super good. And remember, this is something like during Thanksgiving. You know, some of y'all have family that come in, but they come in for more than one day. They don't come in just for Thanksgiving Day. They're going to spend the whole week with you. So you're going to need some stuff to cook. Well, one day you could cook ribs and baked beans and maybe potato salad or slaw or carrot salad or something like that to go with it, and you are you got it. You can do this ahead of time. The meat you can just stick in the oven. And here's some things you can cook with your baked beans for Thanksgiving for those people who are going to stay with you a while. You could cook the baked beans. Now, if you're doing two big cans of your pork and beans, your baked beans, you might want to put a little more onion or a little more pepper in it. And then, you know, you can guess on your barbecue salts and your brown sugar. But it'll be good. Cook you a Boston butt with that. Because if you've got a big crowd, instead of doing ribs, which takes up a lot of oven room, just cook a big Boston butt or two Boston butts. You can cook them on your grill or you can cook them in the oven. And have some barbecue buns out there. I mean, some hamburger buns. And you've got a meal, y'all. You've got a meal. you got to think ahead of time. And this can be made ahead of time. Because you can't wait. If, if they're going to be there three or four days and you're going to have turkey on Thanksgiving, well, you got to have them something to eat before then. <laughs> so I'm going to pop these in the oven. They're going to be good. As, and I'll taste them along. And as soon as that onion... And that pepper gets tender, and all those flavors blend together. I'm gonna take this little top off of it and just, you know, cook it just a few more minutes, five or ten more minutes, and then it's ready to serve. It's nothing to it. It's nothing to it. You can do this, y'all. You can do this. So um, I love baked beans with barbecue chicken, and I love it with fried chicken. I mean. This is a good thing to fix. 
Love y'all. Have a great day. And if you do your baked beans differently than me, that's okay. Hey, you're cooking. It's your kitchen. And you're the queen of your kitchen. You are the queen of your kitchen. You can do it just like you want to. Sometimes I take uh, ideas of y'all's that you've written in and do mine your way for a while. Try it. Or you could do it just your way. If you've got some different ways you do it, let us know and send pictures. We love to look at y'all's pictures that you put on uh, my page. I, I love the pictures. Y'all might just show me a picture of something. It doesn't even have to be of that. It could be a little short video of your child trying to learn to ride a bicycle. I love to watch those too. So y'all have a great day. God bless you and happy Sunday to you, even though you're watching this on a different day. <laughs> love y'all. Bye-bye.